Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. Networking videos have been doing really well on our channel recently. And I just want to say a massive thank you as well for 400,000 subscribers. I think we're on 402,000 now. We wouldn't be here without your guys' support. So with that being said, I wanted to round up a few of my favorite networking accessories and tools and put them in one video for you lot. So without further ado, let's get straight straight into this. In no particular order, coming up first, we've got these power line adapters. I'm only joking. Funny story about these, one of my clients that actually buys internet off me phoned me up last week and said, hey Alex, your broadband's really bad. I went round to his house and he was using these power line adapters. Why? Okay, that's enough of the networking jokes. This is the Tender Nova Wi-Fi mesh system. And it was actually part of our budget Wi-Fi 6 mesh video last week. And it came runner up to the TP-Link system. If you didn't watch that video, you can click the card or I'll put a link in the description. But the reason why I really like this is because it was super, super simple to set up. Really, anybody could do it. And the app offered some, well, quite good features for the price of these things. These are under 100 pounds and it had things like parental controls and QoS. If you're looking for a budget mesh system that looks nice, I wouldn't look much further than this. Coming in at number two, we've got this tiny little network switch. Now, I think this is one of my favorite network switches in 2021 thus far to come out. And let me explain why. Now, it's called the Switch Flex, and it's a super, super small rubberized network gigabit switch. Now, the one main reason that I like this bad boy so much is that it is a PoE switch. Now, yes, that means that it can be powered by PoE. So you plug in PoE, and there's your data and power source it powers up, but all the other ports on here are also PoE out. So you could run an ethernet cable with PoE to this switch and then have four other PoE devices hanging off this one tiny network switch with no power required. Now it also comes with these little ethernet protection things. I assume a lot of people would just, I don't know, maybe have this switch up in the loft or something and run one cable up to the loft and have it powering maybe a couple of CCTV cameras and a couple of access points or something. Obviously because this is a managed switch as well, you can run VLANs through any of these ports. Now the downside to this being a unified device is that you need the controller to manage it. But once you have the controller, like I said, you get all the control over this device, you can turn it on and off and you can route all of those VLANs. A really, really cool network switch. Now this is a little travel router that is powered by a battery bank and it can be a battery bank, but then you can also hook it up into a network. It has 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz networks and it can be an access point, it can be a repeater, or it can be a network bridge. Now obviously I know traveling is a little bit mental at the moment with Rona going round and what have you, but these things are really, really, really valuable if you do do a lot of traveling and you get to hotels and the Wi-Fi is really iffy, but they've got an F Ethernet port there. Well, you can go ahead and plug this little travel router in there, create your own Wi-Fi hotspot that's secure to you with only you using it and take advantage of all the speeds. If you do a lot of traveling, I really think that this little tool should be in your arsenal. Now coming in at number four, I wanted to give you guys something a little bit different. Show you guys some software that's helped me on my networking journeys in the past. Now coming up first, we've got an app called Wi-Fi Man. Now I really, really like this because it's a really quick way of doing a speed test. The app is really lightweight. You open it up and as you can see, I'm pulling 250 meg on 4G right now, which is pretty mental. Now the next tabs along the bottom are all about Wi-Fi. So I've switched over to Wi-Fi. As you can see, we get an at a glance, really quick ping time here. So you can see to my gateway, to Google and to YouTube, the well, ping times for that. And then you can see what we're connected to and the last speed test we did. Now the discovery is really, really cool. As you can see, as soon as you click on it, it starts to just well, discover all of the devices on the network and displays you with their IP address. Quite a cool app, really lightweight, and it's free. Another app I really, really like is Wi-Fi Sweet Spots. Now, this is a really cool app for making sure that, well, your ISP isn't tricking you by telling you the speed between your phone and the access 
access point, regardless of your actual internet speed. So if you want to see if your Wi-Fi is playing up, you just open this free app, you click start, and then it displays you with, well, the speed in megabits per second between the phone and the access point. So basically you can walk around your house and see where your Wi-Fi is good or not. And then I think if you even hold down the record button, you can see that, well, it gives you the average speed from when you were holding down the button. Two really, really cool, useful and free apps on iOS and Android. So before we go on, I need to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video. All the computers on the entire internet know where they are, they're geolocated. Now, if you're in England and you want to watch US Netflix, you can't do that because your IP address is in England. Basically, connect to one of Nord's servers that's in America, that has an American IP address, and your computer thinks it's in America, American Netflix all yours. So if you guys would like to get a two year plan with discount plus one free month, please go to nordvpn.com forward slash techflow or simply just use code techflow at checkout. It would save you guys some bucks and it helps us out in the process. Thanks NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Okay, so last but not least, we've got my crimpers of choice. Now, you might be thinking, what are crimpers? Basically, this is the tool that you need to put the end on an ethernet cable. And I've used cheap ones and I've used really really expensive ones and these ones from Klein Tools are my favorite So let's look how to crimp an Ethernet. Now this is a bit of a double because I'm going to show you why these are so good And then I'm also going to provide a link to these RJ45 boots in the description as well because these are amazing so start by using this tool here to strip the cable. And then once you have all of the pairs of wires like this, separate them and then separate them again so they're all individual wires. And now we can use our special crimping tool. It has a blade on this side at the right location so when you push this through and you crimp it down, it cuts off all the excess and you're left with a nice RJ45. Okay, so there you have it. Those are some of my favorite networking apps and tools that I pretty much use on the daily basis. I'll have all the links that you guys will need, including links to the products in the description. But for now, my name's been Alex. This has been Techflow. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.